Hey everybody, Reaper here. So, um, I got the canister pump. It's like a 305 boomel. And I had some trouble. Now I see some water coming around. And it stopped working. We've been having power outages at the house here uh, since last night. The last one, thank God they've only been 20 to 30 minutes or so. But the pump quit working. And we did put some uh, those plants in here and they got all messed up. So, I don't know. I'm going to... Rich gave me a uh, 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 sponge filter, so I'm going to stick the sponge filter in here temporarily, and it's going to take us a while. I'll have to disconnect the filter, pull it out. We haven't cleaned it since we put it in, so it probably needs a good cleaning. Hopefully the impeller and all that's good. If not, next week uh, Mr. Metalhead's bringing me some parts anyways for this thing. But I'm going to try and get this uh, fixed and put back together. I'll take some videos as I go, but right now I'm going to get it disconnected. Looks like there was a drip coming right here. I see. That's the only drip. See, it's still dripping. But a drip, drip, drip. Yep, and one on the opposite side as well. It might have been because our first power outage was at 12 o'clock last night. So we open it up, and yeah, this thing is totally filthy and clogged and gunked up. So we'll give it a good cleaning, and hopefully everything should be just fine. Alright. So as you see, they are quite, quite dirty. As you see, I'm getting it quite, quite clean. So, yeah, this definitely was a problem. You should have seen everything when I pulled them out. A lot of green in there, like I thought. And then... We'll get the canister and clean every chamber real quick. Yeah, too clean. Too nasty ones to go. Alright, got the sponge filters cleaned. Of course, you don't clean your bio balls. You want to keep all that good bacteria. But I cleaned the container and everything underneath and so forth so on. Got the impeller and all that. Got that all clean. I'll put that back together. Get this filled primer and hopefully get this pump going back again. I wasn't expecting to be doing this, but hey, I guess it'll make a video. <laughs> Alright, Don and I, we got the pump all put back together. We got it behind the tank again. Of course, it's cloudy, as always, when you start up a tank. And it is, but uh, we'll see how it looks in about an hour or so. 
I'll do my nightly filming that I'm working on my video for tomorrow. So uh, we'll see how it should be nice and clear by then. And in the meantime, Dawn, she's got flowers coming. What kind of plant is this? It's a Chinese evergreen. Chinese leaf. evergreen. Got it from? A dollar, I got it for a dollar like two years ago because it was dying. And you see it, and now it's going to have some flowers. So we're going to see what they look like. That'll Never be knew they flowered. Oh. All right, everybody. Well, stay tuned, and we'll see what's next. Hey, everybody. Reaper here. Welcome to Behind the Scenes. Haven't been out the big riches here in the last few days. This episode is actually on the pump that went out. And uh, you saw it. That was the first half of it. And, as you see, everybody is doing good. There's no way there's our first Shaq Fry baby and we're not losing him. So, we're gonna have to rig up some sort of like, uh, well, Rich and I, when we used to do the computers way back in the day. Back then when you had a computer, if you didn't have a backup power supply that kept your computer running, you lost your files, you lost everything. It's not like it is today. So I got a couple of those. I'm gonna break them out, test them, and use that for backup with that uh, sponge filter he gave me, just in case something happens. Cause we've been having power outages around here with our grid. Not sure why. And the electric company can't explain it neither. But uh, everybody in this tank, you can see, they're all doing good. But haven't sh uh, seen the Shack Koi Fry Baby in a while. But the last video I did where me and Big Rich uh, were moving all that stuff in the backyard and everything, and he took that pretty good spill. Um, we didn't video or get on file the fact that when I was throwing some of the trees on the pit, I stepped on a nail. <laughs> yeah, my foot's been swelled. Today was the first day I was able to get a shoe on. And then uh, Ken the Mud Man, his furnace went down, so I had to go out there and help him. So I didn't get a chance to get the big riches. I will be out there tomorrow for sure. Get back on doing our thing out there. I, I understand he's got a crew out there. So uh, we'll see about that. Uh, we got plans here. You know I picked out some guppies. So I gotta get a tank set up. Um, Eric and his family, which is Lavaca's parents, my girl, they're coming down this weekend. They're supposed to be here. So, and it looks pretty, for sure this time he said it a few times but this time he said cars already rented so he's supposed to be bringing down some more guppies snails shrimp and some chiclets okay cichlids chiclets you we know what they are they're cichlids but they're my chiclets <laughs> but in the meantime uh we're gonna go out here and we're gonna take a look at the front one in the living room for a second all right, everybody. Now, this is, I'm not sure, a 38 curve. This is the one that's in the living room here. Um, we all see this one all the time. And this is where the bars are and the two silver dollars. And they're hiding right now. Uh, the one Kobe's in there. The other one we lost. The old man, he finally went away. Uh, the Loches, they're in there. They've been temperamental lately. One of them was just up. Oh, back. there he is. There's one of them, but we're going to take the uh, silver dollars and the bars, the tiger bars, out of this tank, and we're going to move them into the original 40-gallon tank that I thought was a 55 that we had to call in originally over in the window. We're going to take that tank, and that's where these guys are going to go. It'll give them more room. We'll be able to actually get a couple more bars and silver dollars and, you know, give them a little company. We will leave the loches because... We don't want to mess with them. We don't know who the parents are, this and that. Obviously, we can see some of the babies are smaller, but with the adults that are running around, we don't know who the parents are. And we, you know, it's it's good. They're good, and we're not going to mess with that environment. We're going to leave them in there. But this is where we'll put the guppies, uh, maybe some of them shrimp that he's bringing down, add some more snails, and this will be the tank. And we want to see our guppies, and that way they're right here with us every day. And then, what we'll do is we have, 
yet we're still working on this we have we have a few things in mind yet we have don't we haven't forgotten about it but we're working on that one but we got to get those guppies because they're sitting there in the meantime that's the 40 and right across is where we're going to set it up probably right here so there's no windows except for that over here so this will be awesome we'll just set it up right there and right now dawn's been using it like when we do the changes and stuff she puts the water in there and she puts her plants in and they do awesome this was like just a one and a half leaf little thing that she found on the ground and they let her take it and you see what it is now <laughs> beautiful and she loves her avocados and she brought one home and threw the seed in and it sprouted so she's gonna try and do an avocado tree but in the meantime it's gonna be her last time using this because we're gonna get this one set up and cleaned and we'll get it over there I got mr. metalhead he's bringing in um, some pieces and parts <clears throat> for the fugal uh, canister and he's got some uh, lighting and some LED and I'll have that all set up and I have most of the setup for this that I had originally so we'll be good to go the only thing I didn't have was some lights so we'll get all that set up and he's coming in this weekend this coming Friday uh, when Eric so we got a lot of people coming in this with this Friday and this weekend to the off fire so you guys stay tuned and we'll go deeper with a reaper and a lot of people have asked, Reaper, what are you going to do with these guys when they get too big? Well, with luck, I'll get a bigger tank and keep them a little longer. Now, the two biggest ones in there are our goldfish that we've had forever. We actually had three, one's gone. These guys can go at any time, but right now they're enjoying a good life out here. Uh, the rest are the koi that Big Rich gave me. And of course our shit koi fry baby. I can't let nothing happen to him. <laughs> He's the only one out here. But um, we'll get him into a bigger tank. And eventually when they get too big, of course they have to go to OFR. You know, unless I find somebody like the Metalhead Prime or some of you guys out there that would like a koi. But the first one, the... the, the <laughs> The shack koi, well, of course, that's, that has to go back to Big Rich. It's up to him. Look at the blue. I love him. He's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, you stay fishy, my friends, and we'll see you again.